Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we are going to take a look at Tilix, which is a GTK3 tiling terminal emulator. Now, if you're not familiar with Tilix, you may have heard of it under its old name, which was Terminix. They recently changed the name due to some copyright infringement issues. Obviously, nobody wants to deal with that, so boom, we got a new name. But whatever you want to call it, this is an awesome terminal application. Even for the casual user, you are going to find some features here that are really going to make things easy for you. So having said all that, let's get started with the review. Before I go any further, I'm going to mention that there will be a full write-up of this review on my blog at ajrisey.com. So you can drop by there for Tilix installation instructions, links to more information, and uh, you know all that kind of good stuff. So let's start by talking about installation. If you are on a Ubuntu-based distribution, Web Update maintains a repository that provides Tilix packages. On my blog page, there will be instructions so to walk you right through uh, installing via the terminal. So uh, you can go there and do that if you like. If you are on Arch Linux, you can get Tilix from the AUR. There is an official Debian package. There is for Fedora 2425, Tilix is available through a CP, COPR repository. Fedora 26 and newer Tilix is available in the de default repository. Uh, there's also Terminix packages for OpenSUSE. Just do your do a package search. For other distributions, uh, like myself running Solus, you can install manually by downloading the Tilix zip file from the GitHub page. And then there are a couple of instructions provided by the uh, the, the Tilix homepage that will walk you through unzipping and installing. It is really, really super easy. Uh, as long as you can follow directions, you will be able to make it through the installation process. Uh, for me, installation went down without a hitch. The only issue I ran into, and it really wasn't a big deal, is that the icon, my icon set had no icon for Tilix. So I fixed that by opening up Nautilus File Manager with admin privileges, then going to User Share Applications, uh, scroll down till you find Tilix, pulled up the properties, and then from that point, you can go and change the icon to whatever you want. I changed it to the same icon that is used by GNOME Terminal you can set it up however you like. If you are using GNOME Shell as I do, there is an extension which allows you to run Tilix as a drop-down terminal, otherwise known as Quake Mode, which is how I'm running it right now. You know, that's my preference. It allows me to quickly pull the terminal out of the way and recall it with a simple click of the F10 key. Uh, in the blog write-up, I will provide a link to the extension. Um, now, so while we're talking about the Quake mode, Tilix can be run in Quake mode on other desktops as well. However, you, however, you will manually need to go and create a shortcut to enable the feature. Really not that difficult. So let's talk about the features of Tilix. First thing it's you're going to notice about Tilix is that it has the GNOME style header bars. So appearance wise, it integrates very well with GNOME Shell and the Budgie desktop. Better in fact than the official GNOME terminal, which still does not use the header bars. Now the standout feature of Tilix is the ability to create multiple panes. We have two little icons in the header bar, one which will add a, plane, add a pane vertically, another one creates one horizontally. These panes can be dragged around the main Tilix window or they can be pulled away to form their own window. You can also drag a pane away from one window, add it to another. Very, very versatile. Terminal panes within the same window can be synchronized so all you need to do is select from the drop down menu synchronize and you'll get a little mini keyboard symbol on each of the panes that will allow you to toggle the sync on and off so for example if you had maybe uh, 
four panes running you could sync two of them you could sync three of them you could sync all four of them however you'd want to do it everything within a given Tilix window is known as a session now the session title is located in the top center of the header bar Within the Tilix preferences, you can set how Tilix creates the default session titles, but if you wish to change the title of an existing session, simply click on the title and rename it. Sessions can be saved and recalled later, which can be a real-time saver for someone who does repetitive tasks from within the terminal. Another great feature of Tilix is notifications. Now, I often run time-consuming process processes on the terminal uh, such as shredding files sh or shredding entire drives. With Tilix I can let the processes run in the background out of the way and I'll get a notification when it finishes. For those of you who are using the Nautilus file manager you will find that Tilix has been added to your right click menu. Now my only complaint about this is that it opens Tilix as a regular window not in quake mode. There's probably a way to change this but I haven't quite found the solution yet. So for any of the viewers out there if you know how to do this leave it leave some instructions down in the in the video description down below. I for one would love to know how to how to do that. Many of my regular viewers know that I like the Quake style terminal emulators and have been experimenting with various ones to try to find which one I like the best. Now there's several out there for GTK desktops including Tilda, Quake, and the GNOME drop down terminal extension. Tilix is by far my favorite. The others were good, but each one had that one little thing that annoyed me just enough that I kept looking for an alternative. Well, that pretty much finishes up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, if you got comments, questions, any of that kind of stuff, leave it down below. I try to get to it as soon as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please share the video. And I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.